Welcome back to Crown Swan Gaming. We are playing Port Royal 4. We have just had a Port Royal taken back from the evil Spanish. So the first thing we'll do is to send our fleet back into Port Royal because we need to sell ships that is broken and stuff. <laughs> and then we have plenty of men that needs to be sold as well because we don't want to pay uh, their wages which is quite extensive so let's take care of these guys holy crap <laughs> it's plenty of ships there uh, so i'm thinking we can't well we, we don't need all of these ships anyway but we need money so Let's see if we can sell a couple. Yeah, we definitely don't. Ship of the line, war gallon, two war gallons. Let's uh, see what we have here. So maybe these four is a good one. The black pearl, no, it's not enough command points for that one so if we do that can we no not enough so i guess we are uh... joe moore is commanding these three janice uh, let's see janice 11 12 holy crap that is a lot of yeah i think we uh a gallon and a frigate. Let's remove that and two gallons, gallons, 1500. And then we go to summer, which is uninjured. Can we add another? Sh Let's see, can we? No. So the question is should we keep these three, add two of them into the trade routes and then sell these. I'm thinking selling and then we can buy buy them back. There we go and we have money and we also need to uh, repair and we do no. Uh, what am I doing? We're going here. So the Black Pearl Repair, Summer, Repair, and Janice, Repair. And then we unpause a little bit. Yeah, we need, uh, let's see our missions here. We need to employ 250 workers, construct a large shipyard. So I'm thinking, yeah, we six thousand people. Yeah, we we have a long way to go here, I think. Uh, remove and yeah, it's going down, so we're gonna do a lot of trading, but we can start by taking over some businesses. So let's try and see if we can buy. Okay, there are breweries, there are bakeries, and weaving mills. There are three. There are three bakers. Let's see if we will buy the cotton plantation. And what's this? Sugar cultivations. We buy that as well. And then we'll wait. But I think we will have a couple of. Yeah, we have 200 employees now out of. So that would be fine. Okay, summer is ready. So let's send her to. Uh, yeah, we add her to the western route, so assign there. And then we will, I think we'll use Yanis for the eastern route or route. Uh, let's speed up a little bit so you get 
repaired. Can I see how much? Okay, 94. That is only 85, so this one will be ready faster. And there we go. So let's uh, add this to the eastern root route, whatever, <laughs> and go and make us some money. And um, when I think about it, we removed, <clears throat> let's see, we need to fix our routes, routes. <laughs> uh, edit route, and this one, go from Port-au-Prince, and we will send that to Port-Royal. So we have this, and I'm thinking, I want to get these involved, and then we're going to do so. Yeah, let's try it. We do this. And do we stop at Tortuga as well? Yeah, let's do that. So, is this uh, Pedro Puerto down, down? Yeah, that looks like a fine thing. So, that is set. Set that to standard. And confirm. And then the eastern one, we're gonna remove Crooked and Turks. San Juan, yeah, let's remove Santo Domingo. So after San Juan, you will have to Guadeloupe, Martinique, Barba, Barbados, Barbados, Georgetown, Port of Spain, Grenada, Grenada. And Santo Domingo, and we don't want them to go in the rough seas there. So I think that's a good <clears throat> thing. And we, since we have pretty large uh, capacity of goods, we I think that could be a profitable route. So let's. Uh, Confirm and uh, then it's just to speed up a little bit and we get some cash and we can see if we can buy some more. Can we buy these? No, it's owned. This piece is owned by local merchants. You can only make offer to buy when you have license for businesses. So, okay. And where do we get that? It's from here. And look at that, they are really crappy. So we need to do some some trading first. So let's use the black pearl here and we will probably lose some money here, but we, the, we just want them to produce more. So let's grab plenty of what they produce. And cotton. And pastries, holy. <clears throat> Let's do that, and then we will just uh, go around and sell it. So let's see what they want. We could try and make a little profit here. So let's go down to 72. Yeah, you get a bunch, you get some. And then we'll just go <clears throat> a little bit random so they don't uh, uh, we don't interrupt in our trade routes. But this looks fine. And let's see if we can bring stuff back to Port Royal. So let's we'll go with 150 if there is plenty of stuff. Okay, fine. Let's head to Port of Prince. And 
and uh, well, yeah, you can get the rest of the sugar. But we can bring the veggies and look at that. Should we bring it all? Oh, let's go for 400. Yeah, we are low on cash there, but oh, we have plenty of cotton and we're producing cotton there as well. Let's do this and head back and sell and hopefully we'll get the money back. Yeah, so the thing we need to do, I think it's just doing a little bit of grinding to get this up and get the population back. So I will do that and then I will come back. So uh, when we ha I will come back, we'll have a little more money and we have got this town up in uh, up and running with some more uh, higher population. So I'll be right back. We... Uh, we have grown a little bit, we're not there yet, but we have bumped this over 3,000. And what I did was that I have built, I've added a couple of more residential areas in this. Some are built and some are waiting to be built. I've also added a hospital, I've added a market, and this is a park, and I added another park here. And then I demolished a residential area in this because they are too close to these anyway, so they are they don't like it. So I'm thinking maybe I should demolish these or I will demolish these and try and move it away from that. We'll, maybe we'll just leave it. Um, but I'm going to grow it a little bit, so I'm going to probably... We have a tavern there. And we have, yeah, we have markets and stuff. Maybe, maybe we should let it go for a while. Yeah, and I also uh, remember, well, I totally forgot that when we edit the route, I forgot to add in Port Royal, so I added that. So when they do this long round, come back, let's go, and they finish. Oh, I didn't finish that. Uh, they're gonna drop off and sell stuff there and then we have a good route so confirm that and see we're making two and a half thousand a day on that one and six thousand on that one so I think we uh, we're doing okay the reason why we don't have more cash is because I bought plenty of these so we will just need this to grow a bit more we're gonna bump it up to six thousand so it's it's quite a lot more building and to build we need commodities and it's just we just need to grind to get all of these but I see we're low on luxury items and I think Port Santo Domingo uh, is having that so let's wait before we leave let's collect some of the stuff that we are producing so the people who work here can work efficiently so we'll just grab plenty of this and oh that's a lot okay let's head over there and just dump what oh, they're producing as well let's go via Porto Prince and see if we can get rid of the cocoa bean the coffee is it or let's pause and see what you want. Okay, this is a shipyard. We don't need more ships right now. So let's drop some of that off. You have plenty of that. Eh, let's give them the rum. Uh, okay, we don't need... We can actually bring some more with us. But we can give you the cloth. And yeah, let's give you the coffee beans. And then we can bring this with us. Okay, we're full, and hopefully you're not... Yeah, you are producing that as well. Uh, is it post? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let, maybe we should go to San... Oh, they have statues as well. Let's go to San Juan and give them the cotton. 
I know this isn't an efficient way of making money, but it's an efficient way to make your city grow. So, uh, yeah, you can, you can have some. Yeah, I'm gonna give you everything. There we go, and then we're gonna buy these. Okay, you only had four, let's buy them. Then we can grab some iron. Some of that, some ropes, some hemp is always good. Building materials. And do we have logs yet? Some. Then let's head to Santo Domingo and top off the cargo hold. Or maybe we can give them that. No, I think we need the construction material in uh, Port Royal. We don't need cotton, we don't need that. We, do we have do we have tobacco there? I can't remember. Okay, here is some goodies that we definitely want. Let's do that. And I'm kinda satisfied with that. So Okay, thirty three hundred. Yeah, we didn't need the pastries. I forgot that Port Royal are producing those. So we will not deliver those here, but do we have anything else? Yeah, the metal and iron, I think, is all, well, we have that. So maybe go for metal and construction material. So I think we should have some here and they will probably love some pastries. Wow, you have some. Well, I will give you it anyway. So, how does it look? Some iron. Yeah, let's grab some of that. Yeah, meat is good. Yeah, it's, we kind of need more. I know. Yeah, let's head up to Andros first. Or Crooked Island. Yeah, here we go. And look at this. This is awesome. Let's bring everything there. I don't think we have that. Should we... Do we have logs? No, we have plenty of everything. We can use some more iron. Okay, 300 there. Uh, let's do some of that. 100 of that and we head back and I think I will just skip forward for a while because I don't think it's all that funny to uh, to see when you're just grinding and trading so I will let it run for a while and continue making money and give Port Royal what they need. We can actually see if we can build something more here. Okay, we have living space for 3600. So we can, let's just build more. So, can I build it here? Seaside residence. And we will add, yeah, the tavern is, let's place it there. Should we have the church? Yeah, we have a church. Let's give them a, what is called, a chapel. Then they have a big one. So let's replace that. And now I guess we need plenty of building materials. Well, some. So uh, I will continue grinding and give the people what they want. So uh, I will come back in a bit. And we're back and uh, we are pretty close to uh, get over 6,000. I've been uh, arranging some stuff 
uh, demolish a couple of residential I've added spread out a couple of taverns I've added churches we have a large church here then we have chapels spread out and uh, I've also added a couple of markets and hospitals so uh, you can see there we have three no we have one down here about four four uh, hospitals I think so we will bump over six thousand inhabitants any second now I don't think we need to do another run or maybe we will I've got the money <clears throat> up I also yeah we can have a look at that I've also added a bunch of uh, different uh, yeah but rum distilleries we have coffee plantations we have weaving mills cotton plantation sugar cultivation and crop plants so we have plenty of work job opportunities so uh, should we do another run? It's just starting. Let's. We have plenty of commodities that we need to remove. So let's do that. Let's just top these off that we have plenty. Okay, we have plenty of one and this one. So just we're probably gonna lose money, but we just want to get rid of it. Let's go to Santo Domingo. They have cotton though, so maybe we can bring bring the cotton to somewhere else so yeah let's uh, yeah you have plenty of and you have plenty of coffee as well let's uh, bring that and we will drop let's get it up to 500 we will drop that off someplace else let's do that and we buy some of these that we know that our citizen like yeah okay and we are over six thousand six thousand and three so let's build the shipyard and we can't build it because we need to go to the viceroy come in so and i think this is one large shipyard and we have all of these we can use our two Fame points there to buy that. And now we should be able to build or upgrade the shipyard. And <clears throat> okay, you need iron. So since we are over here, let's try and bring some iron with us. First of all, let's get rid of this. Okay, you have plenty of good stuff, so let's bring this and 50 iron. Let's see, we probably use maybe 50 is enough. Rope is always good to have. Let's bring 25 of these and some hemp, not too much though. And construction of bricks. I think we usually low on uh, corn so let's bring that and then we head up here and hopefully get some more statues and uh, furniture yeah and uh, there we go do we have anything else okay this could be cool and we already have that yeah, let's bring some logs with us. Uh, let's bring 200-ish and 200-ish there. Yeah, let's bring some more. And we head to Port Royal and drop it off and hopefully they can finish the shipyard. Yeah, we have plenty of stuff to sell off. So now we fill it up, and I think we can be more people. Okay, eleven days, and 
I'm not really sure if we need to build anything else. It's, we have capacity for 6,900. So I think we... Uh, yeah, I, I moved all... I, I demolished a couple of... Uh, I think we had a couple of crop fields down here. So I demolished them and build... Uh, uh, what did I do? I don't own these because we don't... I need fame points to... Uh, I welcome you to do the bakery and it's over here so we can't buy those otherwise I bought all the businesses so except for these three bakeries and it's it looks like a nice town right I could live there maybe not now but yeah probably now actually <laughs> there's better climate or warmer climate or weather, better, much better weather than in Sweden anyway so should we uh, let's see how many days has gone okay four days so let's just ride that out we can see maybe we can repair our ship uh, where's the shipyard it's there can I repair it yes so we get it up to 100% excellent work Port Royal now has a beautiful shipyard you can commission vessels now. With your new shipyard, we will now be able to take the Spanish by the horns. Now assemble an even stronger convoy. Okay, let's see our new objectives. Uh, build three vessels of the type ship of the line. For a strong convoy, you need an experienced captain. Now, there is an instructor. He may have retreated, but I was able to track him down. Go and see him. He can help you. Yeah, visit the instructor. West of Santiago, you find an instructor who can increase the experience with captains. Assemble a convoy, 150 guns, 600 sailors. So, three ship of lines. So, I guess we can order. We can probably order them. We have the money for it. So, military ship of the line. One, two, three. And uh, where did the instructor were? West of Santiago. And where is... I'm not familiar with the Caribbean that much. Santiago. Gibraltar. Well, it should be... Do we have Santiago? Is it uh, English? Santo Domingo, there, okay. It's just close. So it said west, right? West of Santiago. Okay. Uh, a hermit seems to live here according to the war not close. He must be a former captain. I greet you, although I have retired. However, I would be willing to give a lesson to one of the captains to increase his experience. In return, I expect an appropriate payment. 625 coins. The convoy needs a captain who is missing at, le uh, who is missing at least three levels of experience. On land, Captain Hugh Moore meets Master Cedric Hill and listens to his teachings patiently. Several days and many insights later, he returns to the convoy. Have you seen the instructor? The greater the experience of a captain, the more combat vessels his convoy can command, and the more sophisticated tactics he can use in battle. Okay, so that is done. And... Joe Moore. Should we... Uh, probably maneuverability. Yeah, I think I would go with this. Oh, we have more points. So, should we go with the gunner or carpenter? Let's go with carpenter and navigator. It's only 2%, so, and that is 4%. I don't think that's, like, there is nothing. I think these are better. So, okay. So let's 
but we have been there, right? Oh, we, we can upgrade all of them, okay. Uh, so let's see, do we have any Nautilus? We can do that, and then we'll send him over there. And we will upgrade him as well. Let's see. It's not experienced enough. Okay. Let's set you back to the route and see. So, brilliant prize. You have. Yeah, let's go with that. Cedric Harris. So, is this a new captain? It is. And are you. You have current level 3. So, let's hire him. Okay, we need. Oh, good. We had. God one bless! One more there. And then we'll be able to hire him. And maybe he's the one that will command the new. Okay, well, let's see. Let's pause Mowgli. What is. Okay, no captain on board that one. That is back for you. So, where is... Yeah, we have to wait. We should have two. No, no, this was the one. We tried. So, where is, is this one? Come on, there we are. Cedric Harris. Was it... Uh... Let's, let's do that and see if we can. Yeah. And then we set him back to the trade route. And we can, what's the supervision? Repairs, that, that isn't really, I think even these are better. So let's go with that. Do we have an? Another one? Yep. This this one is gonna be really strong. And we will wait and uh or maybe yeah this yeah let's see how, how we do. Maybe we use uh this guy to command commandeer the new ship. So if I do that, can I assign him? To replay, yeah, okay. So now he's sleeping, and then when the ships are uh, built, let's see the old list. Okay, first one is done, I think. You ordered three, Lord. Yeah, okay. In progress, 98%. So where is the ship online? There it is. Yeah, two is built, so let's do a new combo. Okay, Robin Hood sounds good. And let's, okay, Summer, let's uh, set you back to that. And we will commandeer you. And then we will wait for the third ship. And I think it's time to make a cut in the video here. So please uh, come back for uh, the next episode when we will continue and probably go to war with Spain again. So uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.